hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is tamara if you don't already know today's video is going to be another video for my valentine's day series we're just keeping it moving people like i'm not gonna do all 14 looks but i'm definitely gonna get some looks out for you guys so today i'm gonna do um things a little bit different since i'm feeling better my last video i had a really bad I don't know what like I had a fever my throat was sore so I feel much better so today I'm gonna do a little chit chat with you guys because I haven't spoken to y'all since my gems reveal so just gonna update you on a couple of things and I don't know what kind of look I'm gonna do so as always we're gonna go with the flow so we're just gonna get right into it people so let's do it so in my last video I reviewed this palette, the Vibes palette from Violet Voss the, with all the colors in it. So um, I'm going to be using this today. I'm probably going to dab into some other palettes um, for some flavor, but this is going to be my star of the show today. I kind of want to do a red look. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do, so... Like I said, we just gonna go with the flow, all right? All right. So I already did my eyebrows as always. I'm about to find a brush so I can start my eyes. And so we're gonna get right into it, darling. Okay, so I took out a few brushes. I'm just looking through my palette to see what colors I'm gonna use. Um, I didn't plan this at all, so we just gonna go with it. So, I think I'm going to use this today. This is the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. A oldie but a goodie. I'm just comparing the whites because I want to add some white into my look today. Yeah, I think I'm going to use that. So, most likely I'll be using these two. These two right here. I'm a hot mess these two right here so let's start <clears throat> so i'm gonna take this pink shade boom box right here and i'm going to use this as my transition maybe i should use a different brush guys i clean my brushes and first of all after i was done cleaning my brushes I had to like groom them like my brush sets are really old because I like I'm so bad with getting new stuff like I'm just a make it work kind of girl but um these brushes are so old I had these since I first started doing makeup that was like Jesus that was years ago so I definitely need to get some new brushes that is one of my goals for 2020 because Nobody got time to be using these old scrunchy brushes, but it's okay because I always make it work. But um, yeah. So I washed my brushes and then I had to groom them because it was like hairs sticking out and the hairs was out of place. And I don't know if that's happened to anybody, but when that happens, honey your eyes or whatever your concealer anything will be looking real crazy so i had to like cut some stuff and all that good stuff but we're back in business and it took me so long to clean my brushes i don't know what's wrong with me like when you're working with dirty brushes it's fine because it's just me but like I didn't realize that it makes such a difference. These clean brushes, like, everything goes on so much smoother. Like, I really need to work on that. We're going to work on that 2020. We're going to clean our brushes, like, once a week. Because it's just ridiculous stuff I be doing. Like, ooh, ooh. <sighs> Put my eye out. So, yeah, I had to clean my brushes. And... Um, I'm happy now because now all my brushes are clean and they are so much better working. Like, I don't know what took me so long. 
Um, so I don't know if I told you guys already, but I did my eyebrows with my Anastasia Dip Brown, as always. And I definitely used concealer as my base because I knew I was going to be completing a look. <laughs> so I used a fancy concealer as my eyeshadow base and I set it with some airspun. So that's what I'm working on top of right now. So I'm dragging out my eyeshadow because I think I want to do like one of them cut creases that's like if y'all know what I'm talking about. If you don't, you'll see. So now I'm taking this red shade, Fady Pack, from the same palette. I hope it comes out red like I want it to. I'm really nervous, but here we go. Oh my God, I feel like it's making it more pink. I'ma just pack it and see what we come up with. I mean, at this point, I don't really have a choice because I already put it on, so. Packing that, I'm just using a blending brush and this is going into my crease. These are going to be the only two colors that I'm gonna use. This is actually not bad, I really like it actually. Looking at it. Maybe I took the pink too high, but that's all right. Cause we just gonna blend. So it is actually coming up a little bit red, which is perfectly fine, cause we make everything work. So anyways, y'all, I am at my halfway point. Well, now I'm past my halfway point. I am 21 weeks pregnant today, actually. So my pregnancy i told you guys in my gender reveal video has gotten a lot easier since my second trimester and i'm just excited that my baby's coming soon like i wish he would hurry up <laughs> like i'm ready but i'm not like it's weird but i think every new mom has that feeling like ready but not so I'm just ready. Like, I know my life is going to change and all that, but I want him to be here. I want to see how he's going to look. I want to love him and all that good stuff. Like, I'm ready, y'all. I am ready, okay? So, um, my baby shower is next month. I am having my baby shower in New York because, as many of you know, I live in ATL and i'm from new york all of my friends and family are in new york and that's where i decided to have my baby shower so that's what we're gonna do i took this red so high like something's wrong with me i'm excited for some reason i'm nervous like i don't know if it's because like it's like all right baby shower now baby's coming but I don't know why I'm nervous, like, I'm excited, but I just, like, I don't know. It's like a thing with me, like, I'm nervous for every freaking thing. Like, I'm on my way to work, oh my god, I'm so nervous. Like, something is really wrong with me, but, you know, what can we do? So, I am just going back and forth with the brush that I use for the pink and the brush that I use for the red just to blend out the edges because, um, you know, sometimes it could come off a little bit harsh and I'm not adding any more eyeshadow. I'm just blending back and forth now. Cause we need it to look, you know, flawless. So that's gonna be that. And now y'all, I'm gonna do a cut crease. So, I'm going to take the lightest concealer I have and I'm going to cut my crease. Yeah, I thought I lost my cut crease brush. I was about to lose my mind here. Alright, so I'm taking a light concealer. This is the color um, light yellow. This is actually a corrector, but it's it comes off like really light. 
So I'm gonna use this to cut my crease. Um, I'm gonna do one at a time because, um, first of all, I'm getting red on here. I'm gonna do it one at a time because I found that it's easier when the conceal is wet. So I'm gonna do it while it's wet so it's not drying up. Cut that crease. I'm gonna make it flow. But y'all are gonna see what I'm talking about. So, anywho, I am very excited for my baby shower. I cannot wait to buy my dress. I feel like that will be the moment that I lose it. Because, like I told y'all before, it has not hit me yet that I'm really about to have a baby. Like, don't get me wrong. It hit me, but it ain't hit me, hit me. If y'all know what I'm trying to say, like, it's like the stuff that's leading up to my baby is getting more and more intense. Like, now I'm having my baby shower. What is going on with this brush? I'm having my baby shower. And, you know, all my friends are going to be there. And we're going to be, you know, getting together to celebrate, like, life. Like, we're bringing, well, I'm bringing a life into this world. And it's just so amazing to me. Like, I can't explain it, but it's very exciting and it's nerve wracking. And I think that's why I'm nervous because I just can't believe I'm about to have a kid. Like, and it's going to be such a fun experience. I know it is. But, um, yeah, so, this planning, this baby shower is very stressful, even though I'm not really doing anything, like, I just want, I am a perfectionist, and I want stuff to be how I want it, like, I know you're not supposed to plan your own baby shower, but, I want what I want, like, I am such a perfectionist, and it's really kind of sad, like, I know people be tired of me, like, I just want this, this, and this, and it has to be exactly the way I want it, or I don't want it at all, like, so I am just, that, I, th I think that's one reason why I'm stressed out, because if it don't look how I want it to look, I'ma go crazy in that piece. I'ma go nuts because I'ma just be sad. Like, all right, guys. So I'ma keep it looking like this. That's gonna have to do because I don't have time right now. Like, I'm getting nervous doing this. So, we're gonna have to leave it like that. So, um, yeah, guys, I'm just nervous about my baby shower. Um, I just can't wait for my little baby. I bought it, I started buying some clothes for him because I literally couldn't help myself. But I always said that when I found out what I was having, I was gonna go shopping. So that's exactly what I did. I just bought a couple of things because I wanna see like what I'm gonna get from my baby shower before I start going crazy with clothes or anything else for that matter. Because, you know, people buy you stuff for your baby shower. And you don't want to be wasting money looking stupid when your baby comes you don't got no damn money. Because you fucking spit through all buying stuff that you was going to get at your baby shower, stupid head. So that's why I just bought a couple of things and I just was like, let me chill. Because I have a lot of people coming to my baby shower and I will just wait to see what we got from them. And 
we will continue on with life afterwards. So, yeah. So, guys, one thing I could definitely tell y'all I am so tired of right now being pregnant is this acne on my face. Like, sometimes I wake up and I want to cry. Like, why? Why? Why does it have to look like that? I don't like that. I don't like that because I ain't do nothing to you. For you to be making me break out like this, sweetie. It's like embarrassing. Like, I don't care because I don't go anywhere. But all girls know, like, if you have that one insecurity, you are going to, like, beat yourself up about it. Like, I don't really, you know, go into depression. But it's like, bro, do I really got to look at this? ugly stuff on my face every day and i am not acne prone like i never had acne like when i was like 13 probably but now since i've been grown i don't get acne and i have it all on the side of my face like this side it was worse and then it went away and then it traveled over to this side and i'm just like bro you have no respect like, I'm just sad. Like, that's why sometimes I don't be wanting to get up and make videos because I am so insecure about this acne on my face. And I don't want people seeing me. <laughs> like, I really don't. It's just kind of gross. Like, why does it look like that? Like I said before, why does it look like that? I don't understand why I have to be the ugly duckling is it so i just try to like oh what is going on i gotta fix this y'all i have to make these two eyes match i'm gonna stop talking and fix these cut creases and i'm gonna come back Honestly, you guys, I don't really like it, but every look comes together in the end, so we're just going to keep it rolling, okay? We're going to keep it rolling. So, I'm going to take now this Anastasia brush, and I'm going to pack this white peach. It's like a white shade right here. Excuse me, right here and pack that on everywhere I put the concealer. Yes, that's what I'm gonna do. Wait. Yeah, we're gonna do that and we're gonna see what happens. And um, like I was saying, I am so tired of this acne, you guys, and it's just like so embarrassing. And people are like, oh, it's hormones, you're pregnant. Don't nobody wanna hear that. Like, don't nobody wanna hear that. Because y'all not going to do it. So, you can say that. Like, you don't have 10,000 bumps on your face that's all red and nasty looking. Like, you don't have that. You can't talk, baby. But, um, I don't even try. Like, I don't even do nothing. I just let it go. Because what else am I going to do, really? What else am I going to do? I just deal with it. And hopefully one day I wake up and the magic gods heard me and they just be like, okay, Tamara, let me take your pain away. Because that's all I really need. Just take my pain away, please, because I don't have time for this. Like, 
why do I gotta be so ugly? <laughs> Sweetie, I'm not ugly, but you know, you get the point. I'm just wiping off some of this. I kind of did the most with the concealer, so I'm just like kind of blending it. Um, yeah, so. But I really try to get like a lot of videos out for you guys, but sometimes it's just so stressful because I have two jobs and balancing two jobs, pregnant, and trying to do YouTube, honey, please tell me who can do that. Who? Like, I do it sometimes, but I don't want, like, I don't know. Like, I really be so tired and I really try to, like, you know, get it together and be like, okay, like, today I'm going to record and then, you know whatever like i'll make myself a schedule but sometimes you guys it just gets real hard because i'm so tired like one job i sit down all day the other job i'm on my feet all day but one job i gotta wake up early for and i am not a morning person at all never was never will be so that in itself just waking up for that job is already strike one Strike two is the other job. Now I start that job late, but I gotta go to that job after my first job. So by then I'm extra tired and I barely even do that anymore. Like my second job, they barely see my face, but when I really need money, like I'll go and work, but I barely do that anymore because I don't got time to be passing out on people's floors. So I just, you know, hold it down whenever i can because you know it's all about you and your baby because me and my kid we gonna be good <sighs> we gonna be good so i barely work my second job but when i do especially when i work two jobs in one day like it'd be so difficult and i really try not to complain but how could you not it's like wait bitch i am not doing this mm -mm. that's why i'm trying to get rich like I have so many goals and aspirations that I just don't know how to start fulfilling. Like, I know you have to start somewhere. I started with YouTube, you know. Um, I I wanted to be a makeup artist. Like, I kind of still do, kind of don't. Like, it's really just all in the air. Especially since it's been so difficult for me. Like, being the person that I am I don't want to say I'm not like a hustler but I'm not like all in your face all the time like you know people who I don't want to say people who like made it but like there's a lot of different ways that people can make it and I feel like the way that gets you there faster that's just not who I am and I don't want to be that. Like, I don't want to be all in people's face all day. Like, let me do your makeup. Let me do this. Let me try that. Like, I don't I don't see myself doing that. And people always say, like, oh, you got to get out there. You got to put yourself out there. I'll put myself out there best I can. But when it comes to stuff like that, I'm not going to do that. And that's just how I am. I don't like asking people for stuff. I don't like, you know overbearing people like I don't like that so I'm just never gonna do that like you'll never catch me doing that so I just feel like YouTube can help me you know as far as exposure at least a little bit because it's just me being myself and y'all get to see me doing what I love so that's why I decided to do a YouTube channel and one of my close friends, she been pushing me for years, years and years and years to do YouTube. So, like, literally, like, three years. So, I just finally, literally one day I picked up my phone. Because that's what I record on, y'all. I use my phone. I don't got money to be buying a camera like that. So, y'all gonna get these iPhone 8 videos, honey. 
but um yeah i picked up my phone and i just started recording and it really honestly went like that and i'm gonna keep working and i'm gonna keep pushing and however long it takes me is however long it takes me nobody could ever say i didn't try and that's just gonna be that so you know like fuck it so now i'm going to do part of me is like bitch add something part of me is like no like I think I'm gonna do like some red eyeliner. So I don't got no red eyeliner. I'm gonna use this Fenty um, Stunner Lip Paint. This is the color Uncensored. This is like the red of all reds. So I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna use it as eyeliner. I'm probably gonna take a brush and just, you know, wing my eyeliner. I'm gonna make my eyeliner come out like this. And then I'm probably gonna do some glitter, but I'm gonna see how this looks first because I need it to be over the top, honey. So, okay guys, so I hope I don't jack this up, like for real. I'm gonna take this, right? I'm gonna take my brush. It's just a little flat brush, like an eyeliner kind of brush. I'm gonna take some product and I'm gonna start like that. And we're gonna see what happens. Okay, this might work, but it's like really thin. Like, I might be sitting here all day doing this. Let me try to do something else. Hold on. Oop. Okay, so this brush is way too flimsy. Like, it's too much going on with this brush. Remember, I told y'all my brush is like going old on me. So, let me see if I can find something else. I'm gonna try this brush. We'll see what happens. Um, I'm scared, y'all. I'm really scared. If this don't work, I'm gonna just use my eyebrow brush and I'm gonna have to clean it off after because I'm not about to be sitting here all day doing this red eyeliner. Like, it's not gonna happen, pool. Okay, that's semi work, but I'm really scared that it's gonna come out fucked up. So I'm gonna just use my eyebrow brush. Um, I got some rice cooking, so let me check that. I'm gonna be right back. Okay, y'all, I'm back. So I'm gonna take my Anastasia number 12 brush. This seems to be the only brush that's trustworthy. So I'm gonna do my wing with that. Cause this one, I don't know. Not, sorry, I don't know. But we're gonna make it work. So wipe off the dip brow. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, let's do it. Like this, but I'm going to add some more, make it a little thicker. So this is what it looks like. It's gonna be fine because I'm gonna clean it up like that. So let's get to the other eye. Y'all, this look, I don't know about this one. I just tried it. I did something like this last year, but I don't know. I was in, I was spicy, so I don't know what happened. Okay, 
So guys, I'm about to eat because you know I gotta feed my son. So I'ma just take a little break, but y'all not gonna tell the difference anyway. But um, yeah, I'ma have to take a break and eat, and then I'ma come back and finish these face. Okay, guys, I am back. I had to eat because when I get hungry, I get like crazy. So I was in the middle of my eyes. I do actually like how the eyeliner came out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean it up. I think I'm gonna add some glitter, but I'm not sure if I did this look before. So I'm gonna have to look, cause if I added glitter to the other one, I'm not gonna add glitter this time. So let me look. Okay, so I definitely added glitter to the last look that I did like this, so I'm not gonna add glitter. But what I am gonna do is probably put like a little heart or something. But um, my face is already primed, so I'm going to. I'm gonna go on my foundation, clean this up, and then we're gonna start. Like, so guys, today I'm gonna use my Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation because last time I was definitely loving it. So I'm gonna pump some drops on my face and get it popping i'm like struggling with this pump i'm not used to this it's, it's new for me you see every time i do this i get it inside my nails like do y'all know how annoying it is to have makeup on your nails like i don't think you know because it's too much and i'm not even about to waste this i'm about to rub it on my chin that's a lot right there. I'll just wipe this off. I need to treat my new stuff good. Know that. So, I'm going to take a foundation brush. This is a flat kabuki brush and start blending it out. So, guys, I don't know where I was at before I went to go eat. But I'm going to go back into working these two jobs because I just want to let y'all know one more time if I didn't already. I hate it and I wish I did not have to work. Like every morning I get up and I want to cry because I hate working. Like I hate, I don't know if it's that I hate getting up or if I hate working like the people. It's probably that I hate working because who don't hate working like why do we have to do this like who said like who made that who made this because i hate it here i really do like it's just like sad like why do we have to go through this to make money and live like i don't know i don't like that but whatever so i just can't wait to go on maternity leave that is what i'm waiting for people because let me tell you something i wish some type of miracle would happen where i just win like a million dollars and i will invest that and me and my son will be set for life like for real because the way how i'm feeling these days I'm a fucking tired and I'm just waiting. Like, I'm just waiting for the day to get rich. Do y'all see these bumps? Because I'm tired of it. Like, I'm so tired of it. And it's like, ew. Like, it looks not even cute. Like, it's just terrible. Like, to deal with. Like, God, <laughs> please. So now I'm taking my fancy concealer concealing my face i am going to um drag it out because i want my stuff to be flawless oh i just messed up everything y'all something is wrong with me i'm gonna have to fix that because i don't know what i just did that's like me not paying attention like I don't know what just went down right now. It 
it's supposed to look like that, but you know. Guys, I'm a failure. Something is really wrong with me. Like, are you dumb? Anyway, let me fix this before I start talking again because I'm going to mess it up some more. One sec. That's what we gonna do, cause I don't got time, right? My patience is running low with this look right now. I got red lipstick all over my hands. I don't know what's going on. So, we're gonna make it work like this. So, I'm about to start blending out. Last time, it's a little dry, so I'm gonna just spray it. So in my last video, I used my beauty blender, the original beauty blender, and I didn't like it. I didn't like it. It picked up way too much product. Like the product was not on my face. It was on the beauty blender. So I'm not using that. I'll probably use that when like I put too much something on and I need to tone it down. Cause that literally took all the stuff off my face and I was so confused I was like okay but yeah so we back to our real techniques because I don't know what that was about and I should have known because this stuff is taking over anyway like who still buys beauty blenders and I just wasted $30 on a damn beauty blender which is cool though, because I'm telling you one day it's gonna come in handy. So yeah, y'all, I can't wait to go on maternity leave. I am ecstatic. And after I come off of maternity leave, I think I'm gonna go back to school because I need to do something with my life, especially now, because I have a kid coming. So, I don't want to be like that mom, you know, that not saying there's anything wrong with moms who start late, but I just don't want to be that mom. I want to see my kid, you know, I want to be there for everything. So I don't want to be waiting forever to go back to school. And then now like I can't see him do certain things or I can't be there for certain things because I didn't finish school or I need to work two jobs because I didn't go to school at all like you know what I mean so so having a kid it really puts you in a different mindset because I was definitely I was definitely supposed to finish school a long time ago that didn't happen but now i feel way more motivated to do so and i definitely can't wait for that i would have started now but girl bye don't nobody got time for that i will die so with this schedule mm -mm, baby no baby no 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 baby no baby it's not messed this up again samara so I'm gonna just blend out the edges. Yeah, so. I can't wait to go back to school. I am gonna go to school for aesthetics because I've always wanted to do that. I had so many career switches in my life. Like, it's kind of crazy. Like, y'all would never believe. First, I want to, excuse me. First, I wanted to be a photographer. I wanted to be a dancer. I wanted to be a chef. Um, I wanted to be in fashion. Like, I was all over the place. I never knew what I wanted to do. And then I found the love of makeup. And that really was like, that's it. That's what it is, sis. That's what you're going to do. 
you have to do it. So that's kind of like where I'm at with life. But I don't want to be just doing makeup. I have a lot of other things that I want to learn. I started doing eyelashes um, in like 2018. But I'm not really like, I don't know about eyelashes. Like I'm not really into it like how I thought I was going to be. Because for some reason, it's just not like something I want to be doing all day. Like, I don't like to hear people complain. And then I get like, not nervous, but I get like, yeah, like I get like anxious. Like when, I, when I'm sitting for too long and then the people is laying down for too long, like I would just turn into a nervous wreck. So eyelashes like i'll do them but i don't prefer to do that like that's not something that i want to do because it's just not like you know not really me like i don't know i did it because it was always a good thing to know to make more money but once i actually started doing it it was like mm, yeah maybe not but um yeah i want to learn so many more things. I think that I'm gonna get into microblading because, sweetie, look at my eyebrows. You tell me, you tell me who you wanna do your eyebrows, okay? So, I definitely think I'm gonna get into microblading. I just have to put myself out there. Like, I feel like going to school is gonna help me because I'm very antisocial. Like, I don't know if it's because I'm shy or if I just don't, I don't know. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't like meeting new people. I don't like doing a lot of things. Like, I'm just boring, okay? I am boring Betty. And that's okay because who cares? So I'm taking my beautiful bronze and I'm going to contour my face. And I set my concealer with the air spun, by the way. Yeah, so, um, I can't wait for that. I really want to learn microblading. That's, like, my new thing now. And I know there's so many facial techniques. That's another thing I want to learn. Like, Skincare gets me excited. Like, I don't know if any other esthetician feels that way. Probably because that's, you know, what their life is. But I definitely cannot wait for that. Because I'm ready to start a new chapter in my life. And I hate school. But I know that I will love esthetician school. I feel like it's so much to learn. Like, because you don't have to do one thing. You don't have to just do makeup. You don't have to just do eyelashes. You don't have to just do eyebrows. You will do a number of things. There's so many studios that bitches is doing mad stuff. Like, please, honey, please. I'm just contouring my face. So I want to do some more um, chit chat videos on my channel. I just don't be knowing what to talk about honestly. And I'm like really shy. If you don't, like if you can't tell, I am really shy. So it's like really hard for me to get into that because number one, I don't even know what to talk about. And number two, I'm just like so guard up. I don't know why I'm like that, but it's weird. And I'll just be like, okay, <laughs> like I'm weird about that stuff. So. I'm going to take my foundation brush, blend out the edges a little bit because I see a lot of linery going on and I don't like that. So, just blend out some stuff. 
Part of it is because I set my face and I kind of OD'd on the powder, I'm not gonna lie. So yes, darling, we're looking great already. So I don't like this right here. Y'all see this line, but I'm gonna fix that with something. We gonna fix it with something. Cause we not gonna go outside. I might put some glitter right there. Cause the last look I did for Valentine's Day, I had some glitter right here. So I might switch it up and put it there, you know, to cover that. Cause I don't know what's going on over there. But before we get into that, I'm gonna powder contour. So yeah, guys. Um, Valentine's Day is like seven days away, really like six, but I'm gonna at least try to get out to y'all four more looks because I think this is my third. Last year, I did a 14 days of Valentine's, which was the whole 14 days, but you guys, I told you I worked two jobs and I really don't have time. Like, and if I do have time, that time is going towards sleepy time because I am tired and I'm fat. You know, fat people gotta sleep. So I just don't be having time. Like, and once it's time for me to come in the house, all I wanna do is really sleep because I'm drained. Like, I really wish I wasn't like this. <laughs> But last year I didn't even have a job, which is why I did the first, the 14 days of Valentine's, honestly. I got up every day and I beat that face. Cause sweetie, y'all gonna see these looks. Cause trust me, if I wasn't working, baby, y'all would've got all 14 days, all 14 looks. But now sweetie, I just don't have time for that. Like it's sad, but it's true. <laughs> so I'm taking my hood up. Actually, no. So I'm taking my Huda Beauty powder, Kunafa, and I am setting the bottom, my foundation. Something like that. So guys, I wanna definitely get four more looks out at least. This would be my third. Yeah, I think I said that already. But this would be my third look. So I'm gonna at least try to get y'all out for more. I'm gonna really try to do a date night look or something like that. But I'm so like, when I get into my creative zone, cause this is like more editorial status. Like I wouldn't wear this outside. So I know y'all probably wouldn't either. Cause I would definitely not wear this outside. Like this is too much, too much. So, yeah, I don't know about all of that, but I'm going to try to do, like, two date night looks. The first one I did wasn't that bad. The last one definitely was not, like, oh, yeah, let's go outside and go on a date. Definitely not. But this one is, like, I mean, you could, but I wouldn't, baby. Not me. That's just not, like, I don't know. I'm plain as fuck. Like, I am mad whack. Spray that face. We are gonna blend it out with this beauty blender. I'm sorry, with this Real Techniques beauty sponge because it's not a beauty blender. I'm not even going to do that to Real Techniques. Guys, I don't know what happened here. Like, it's looking sad over here. Like, I'm gonna have to fix this because I'm not going outside like that. So, I'm gonna put a smidge of concealer. I already put powder, but it's okay. Like, I just can't be looking stupid on camera. Like, what is that? I'm going to blend it very softly. Yeah, I guess we just going to go outside today. 
because I look crazy. I don't know what happened, y'all. I'm not doing this again, all right? We done with the editorials for freaking Valentine's Day because obviously I don't know how to act. I just messed up. First, I messed up the wing on this side, and now this side is just completely jacked up. I don't know what happened. Okay, that's gonna have to work. Hopefully the highlight and the eyelashes and stuff like take away from the foolishness because I don't know. I don't know if y'all can see it, but I can definitely see it and I don't like that. But you know what? It's alright. We're gonna keep it pushing because that's what we does. So that part is finished. And we're going to do the eyelashes. I should have did that a while ago. I don't know why I didn't. I was supposed to do it when I did my eyes. But I normally don't do that. But for this series, I was going to do it just so I can, you know, see the looks come together. So I'm going to do my eyelashes now. Lashes done. All right. So I'm actually not going to add any glitter or anything of that sort. What I am gonna do is add some more red to my eyeliner because when I did my eyelashes, the black you know you know guys I use hair glue for my eyelashes if you didn't know I just think that's the best thing like if you ain't using hair glue then what is you using alright so that's done now what we're gonna do I think I'm gonna highlight I want to do like a silvery highlight but I don't really own that hmm well, let's see Okay guys, I know what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna take my Sultry palette, Anastasia. I'm gonna take the color Cyborg, which is a silvery color right here. I'm gonna put that in my inner corner. I'm gonna pick up a little bit more than that. What is wrong with this thing? giving me the vibes like what let me try to spray my brush see if that makes a difference that made a little difference okay there we go I need to like shine the place up. So I'm just gonna keep adding till I feel like it's enough. I'm gonna do my brow bone. What is wrong with this stuff? I don't I don't know what's going on, but I don't like it. Whatever it is, because 
I don't know like what is happening right now. Like it's not picking up. Maybe it's the brush I'm using. Too late now. Cause I just washed these brushes and I'm about to be using 10 million brushes. So. I'm gonna go like that. Oh, bitch. I'm gonna have to use a little bit of that for my highlight. It might be too much, but you know what? We're gonna try it out. Cause that looks cute. I ain't been doing nothing like I'ma mix this one with pearl from the same palette because I don't know what's going on with cyborg today. It's cute though. And I told you guys in my last video, like Y'all are going to see me use eyeshadow as highlight a lot because that's just something I like to do. Like, I could never explain it, but I like to do that. I don't know why. It's like, it's just something about it. She's here. I want to do something under my eye, but I don't. Like, I don't know. I'm going to do like a dab. I'm going to do like a dab of red and see what it looks like. I'm going to take the same color. I'm going to just take this flat brush and do like a little bit. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's cute, all right, bitch. That's cute. So I'm gonna do some mascara because I never did it. Okay, so I did my lashes, I did my top and my bottom because bitch, yeah. who that? Cause listen, we started off rough, but darling, I killed it. Period. I'ma do my lips. I feel like I'm missing something. First of all, my eyelashes was coming off. I don't care because I'm not even going nowhere. So I'm gonna just take some pictures and hopefully it don't look stupid. I'm gonna um, do my lip. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Give me one sec. Okay, I'm lining. So I'm gonna do some concealer lips because I've been feeling the matte nude lately and I don't own like a good nude. So we're gonna make do with what we have. I'm a, I'm a, maybe this is a little bit too light, hold on. Now 
Now I messed it up. Let me add something. There we go. Honey Love always does it, darling. This is Honey Love from MAC. So what I am gonna do is I am gonna set this. That's my new thing now, guys. I don't know. I like setting my lips. It's like, maybe it's a weird phase that I'm going through. But it makes your lips matte. And if you mix colors like I just did, well, really concealer, because I don't got no business putting concealer on my lips anyway. But if you do that, it helps it stay. So. I think we did something here y'all it was a struggle to get here but i think we did something so let me clean myself up i will be right back okay guys we have done it again we are back with another look sweethearts let me tell you something this chit chat was pretty much a fail because i had to keep stopping to fix my stuff like i was just struggling today i don't know what happened but in the end as you can see we made it work because we always do i had a lot of fun creating this makeup is all about fun it's never serious you can do whatever you want there's no such thing as doing the wrong thing in makeup and i think a lot of people fail to realize that um if we see an image on social media and we think like that's how it has to be no sweetie makeup is whatever you want it to be and that's the fun part about it honestly so i was really excited to see when this look came together because it always does even though i doubted myself but So guys, this is my third video, my third look of my Valentine's Day series. I am going to be back with another video very soon. Please stay tuned because you know it's going to be a situation, honey. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and even share if you feel like we are nice. Thank you again for watching. I love you guys so much. Mwah.